Guys, holy crap, guys. Guys, guys, holy crap. I hope I knocked everything over. I don't care. Guys, 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 you have no idea what I just found. Holy crap. All right, we got the lights on. All right, we found... I was at the Dollar Tree in Baltimore. You know where Baltimore is in Maryland? Anyway, guys, you ever heard of um, the Dollar Tree packs everyone talks about? And they have the X and Y series and they have evolutions. Well, when I was in the checkout lane after buying some Tic Tacs and pork rinds, I found Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon Dollar Tree packs. So I am so stoked to open these. I had no idea these existed. And I, I just... I'm ready. I'm ready to open these because I had no idea these were a thing. I didn't know they made Sun and Moon ones. So we're just going to jump right into it. Here we go. So what I ended up doing was um, I bought 20. 20 of them. I bought 20 of these packs. These Dollar Tree packs. And I've never opened these on my channel before. And I know I have opened these in the past before just from like gifts or just buying them on my own. But I am like I'm so stoked to do this for the channel. So if you guys enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want. Just, let's get right into it. We have 20 packs, so that's going to be 60 cards. And they're a dollar each. And remember, you, no, no, remember you can buy these at the Dollar Tree. So let's see what we get. Um, There's no card trick for this. So, and there's no code either. This is just, every pack comes with one of these. It just tells you to discover the fun, go to the website, and blah, blah, blah. Crap. So there's no card tricks, so I have no idea. Let's just get right into it. So we have three cards in each pack. And we're usually gonna end up with common. So we get Stuffle, Standile, and Energy. We're not like we're not guaranteed to get anything holographic or good or even uncommon or rare in these. So this is um these things are pretty like, like I highly do not recommend buying these, honestly. I do not recommend these at all. Because we're not guaranteed to get anything, period. Because like see these are just common so far, right? That's an uncommon, and these two are common. Like, you're, you're not guaranteed to get anything good in these. So, do I recommend these? No, I do not recommend these. But, these are still fun to open, nonetheless. So, we're just going to keep going right at it. We have, what, 20 packs? We're down three. So, let's see what we get. We got a Grubbin, a Dupiter, and a Poliwhirl. I love me some Poliwhirl action. If you guys didn't know, Poliwhirl... Did I, did I say Poliwhirl's my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon? It's either Poliwhirl or Parasect. If you watch my, my top 10 Pokemon video, you'll know. I, I, I don't remember, honestly. Look at this card. This one's different. Play Pokemon League or battle other players online. It's the same thing, pretty much. It's just trap. Whoa, a Dragonite Hollow Rare. Nice. We got our first rare of these, um, of these crazy Dollar Tree packs. So I'm going to set that in the back here. Nice. Nice and Dragonite. Goodness gracious. That was pretty good. That was a decent pool. I, I like that. Anytime you get a rare in these, it's exciting. Because, like, it, it's very hard to get anything good in these. So we had a Grimer and an Energy and a Lillipup. Um, I have I have pulled a few break cards out of these packs. And I think I got an EX out of one of them. But, yeah. It's not... Whoa! Crooked Isle. Crooked Isle, rare, hollow. That's a nice one. Every time you just get a rare, hollow, it's nice. Because, like... Like I said, you don't get, you're not supposed to get anything great out of these. Because they're Dollar Tree packs. Like, if they if they put good cards, I'm knocking things over. I'm very unprofessional. I'm sorry. If you, if you get good things in a Dollar Tree pack, like, Pokemon will be put out of business. You don't want that. You don't want Pokemon to go out of business. Because, like, you can't just keep giving away cards for a dollar, you know? But, it's, Pokemon, here's my thing about trading cards. They're, um, it's like, it's like playing a lottery or the scratch-offs, you know? Because, like, you, you you have a chance of getting something good, but you're not guaranteed. And, like, if you pay higher prices, like, you're paying for a $20 box, you have more chances than if you pay for a $1 pack. And that's, um, that's why it's, it's as much, it's much like scratch-offs to me. And, and, you know, I guess it'd be better to do scratch-offs, but, like, no one really cares to watch someone scratch-off scratch-off tickets, you know? Actually, I've watched a few scratch-off videos here on YouTube, and I thought they were pretty interesting. But that's a different story. That's just me. That's just me. I like Pokemon, too. I love... This is my favorite artwork of Sun and Moon. I love it. I love... It's like Yoshi's Woolly World, if you ever played that. the new, It's a brand new Yoshi game that just came out on the Wii U and the 3DS. It's a really nice game. This is what it reminds me of. Poliwag's Woolly World. We're just demolishing these packs, guys. We just gotta see if we get anything decent again. 
Rowlet, Togedemaru, and Lily. That's everyone's waifu. Look at that. Except I like um the Skull Grunt, the female one. I like her more than Lily. That's just my opinion, though. My anime waifus. Let's see. Oh, Big Malasada. 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 That's an uncommon. Um, Reverse Hollow. Nice. I have no interest in that card. I don't. I don't care. Can we get anything good out of these packs? I mean, the Dragonite. The Dragonite's my favorite. Like, it's that's probably my favorite. Um, rare out of this series. Ooh, Dragon Air, Dupair, and Snubble. I like the Snubble artwork too. I love that. Like that. 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 The shading on it. it's really nice but yeah i mean like i said we're not guaranteed to get anything good this is just a really fun video really quick really enjoyable if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below or like it uh i, I don't yeah parasite i love me some parasite action and this is a nice artwork too this is ugly pop leo artwork i love pop leo though. everyone hated pop leo when the game first came out but i thought pop leo is a pretty cool trick that's right, I'm going to refer to Pablo as a female just because it triggers people. Um, anyway. Whoa, Pelipper. Pelipper reverse un uncommon and a pincer uncommon. That's pretty pretty nice. Pelipper, Pelipper was always my bro back in the day, back in the, the third gen. But everyone hated him because he's useless. But now he gets drizzle. So Pelipper, Pelipper is the man. Everyone knows about Pelipper's power now. Pelipper... If you are if you're not hit the caliper, you need to get hit the caliper. Because Pel whoa, 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 never mind. I got excited because I saw the hollow. I got really I got I actually had a little a little bit of a gut feeling. It was really nice, but it's just a re reverse cue to fly, no big deal. It's just a common. Uh -huh, I almost got excited for a moment. I was <laughs> Could you imagine? Can you imagine if I got a good pull out of this? Good lord. Um but yeah, getting pulled out of these are really hard and it's just, it's just, it's more likely than, it's more likely you won't get anything than you will. So, it's better to just stick with regular packs. But like I said, for a dollar, and if you like commons, and if you like getting cards and selling cards in bulk, and you actually play the trading card game, I think this might be for you. But otherwise, collectors like me, this isn't really a good investment. Jupiter, Sandy Gas, Water Energy. But guys, we're down to our last three packs. And look at that. It's like, it's like poetry. It's like freaking poetry. Rowlet, uh, Incineroar, and Primarina. It's like, that worked out so well. Um, that, those were the last three. No Sogaleo, no Lunala. I just opened Primarina, didn't I? Whoa, I dropped everything. And it's okay, guys, because we didn't get anything good anyway. We got a double. Hang on, I'm pulling it off the floor. Yep. Yeah, the Psyduck. Double colorless. And get in the bag, Nebby. Get in the bag, Nebby. But, we got to the Incineroar pack. Can we get anything good? Whoa! Oh my god, we can get something good! Holy crap! Holy crap, I wanted this card too! Oh my god. We got an Espeon GX out of a Dollar Tree pack, guys. Goodness gracious! This is amazing! This is wonderful! I didn't think that would happen, especially in the last three packs. That is wonderful! I love this card's artwork so much. Like, this and the Umbreon one is so cool. I am so happy I just pulled this. Like, oh my god. This is beautiful. This is freaking beautiful, guys. Holy crap. Holy, 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 holy crap. That is... You know, this... Oh, I'm sorry. That fell down. Um, This last pack, it's going to be all crap. It's fine. Because that Espeon is just so amazing. Goodness. See? Oh, Caterpie's cute. Yeah, whatever. Let's do a recap, guys. We got a Crocodile, Crocodile Hollow. We got a Dragonite Hollow. And then the Espeon GX. What was this, our 19th pack? It took 19 packs. So if you buy 20 packs, you might have a chance of getting something good. But it's not guaranteed. But how wonderful was that pool? That was beautiful. I'm really excited to get this. So, yeah, guys, like... Do I recommend buying Dollar Tree packs? No, I don't. Because, because, yeah, like, unless you have a channel where you do card openings, yeah, bu buy them. But, like, otherwise, don't. Because you're not going to get anything good. This was just luck. This is 100% all luck. Like, you're not guaranteed to get something nice like this. So, if you guys like the video, please make sure to like this. So leave a comment if you bought any of these Dollar Tree packs and you got something good out of them. 
And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate that you came here to watch this today. And have a wonderful evening or night. or Yeah, I, I upload these at 4, right? Have a wonderful day if you're in California. Have a wonderful evening if you're in the East Coast. And if you're anywhere else, I'm sorry. I do not know time zones. Bye-bye. <laughs>